We're in our Windows Admin Center on a Microsoft Windows 2019 server, and we're going to link our Microsoft Azure account into our Windows Admin Center. We need to start by clicking on any one of the servers that we have in our list, and then we click on the Azure Security Center. So we'll click on that, and now it's asking us to sign into Azure and set up. So we'll click on that. Next, we need to copy the code that you see on the right-hand side. After we copy the code, we click on number two, enter the code. And it's going to open up a new page to sign into our account. We paste in the code, hit next, and now it wants us to log in. It says that we've now signed in to the Windows Admin Center application on our device. So we can close that link. From here, we can click on to create a new Active Directory application or use an existing one. So if we have an existing one, we can paste it here. If not, we can create a new one. So we'll click Connect. And it says we're now connected to Azure Active Directory. Next, we need to click on the App Permissions in the Azure portal. So we'll click on that link. And now we'll click on the Grant Admin Consent. And we need to log in once again. So now we see that it's prompting us for permissions to request or accept for your organization. So it sees that the app would like to access the directory, sign in and read your user profile, and access Azure services as the administrator. We'll click Accept. We'll go back one more time to our Azure Security Center. Click Sign In. Got to make sure that we allow pop-ups. So we'll say allow pop-ups for this particular site. Now it's finalizing the login and the linkage between the two. So now we can close our original box and just open up the new one. Now we can just click under All Connections. We can click Add. And if we have a virtual machine already in Azure, we can click Add or Create a New One. And it will attempt to sign us back in, which it did. And then if we have a virtual machine, we can paste in that subscription ID number right there and connect to it. The other option we have is to click on one of our servers. And we can now see all these Azure services that we can see in the list. And all we'll have to do is just to click on one of them and sign up for one of those services. So that is how we link our Azure account into our Windows Admin Center on our on-premises server in Windows Server 2019. So from here, you can continue to link any of your resources that you've signed up for at Azure into your Windows Admin Center.